When I first started using Obsidian, my notes looked a lot like this. Just a single pane, a single note open, then I'd go and process through this. But these days when I'm processing notes, it looks a lot more like this. I might have the search pane up here on the left and then the right sidebar with a calendar. And then I might have another note that is related to the one that I'm trying to process. So as you can see, this is already getting a little bit tight. I mean, I can play around with it a little bit and do this, but it's, it's really not the same. Obsidian's bidirectional linking really encourages me to examine my notes in context and compare it and contrast it to other similar notes in my vault. But that all takes up visible space on my monitor. Now you might be thinking, Nicole, why don't you just get another monitor? I could, and I do have one, except that that doesn't really help. See, in Obsidian, if you're trying to open up the same vault, you can't have two instances of it going at the same time. Until recently. Obsidian Desktop version 0.15.6 just got released, and the biggest feature that it's got is pop-out windows. I and the rest of the people on the Catalyst here have been testing it out for the last two weeks. Here's what you need to know about it. So here are the two notes that I have both on the book range. One is my notes and highlights from the book by the author, David Epstein. And this is my notes and highlights from the short form summary of his notes. Now, rather than try to see it in this cramped view, I'm going to use pop-out window to make it a little bit more manageable. There are four ways that you can use the new pop-out window. The first one is by going into options here and then clicking on move to a new window. Click on that and that opens this up on another window. This is still in Obsidian, but the only difference is it doesn't have the side panels, which maybe is a good thing. Obsidian is an Electron app, which means that it functions a lot like your browser does. So you could go Windows and here I, you can see I've got three different windows open. Let me switch back to the old one. And the second way to use a pop-out window is by going to the command pane. That's Command P or Control P if you're on Windows and go ahead and type win new window and then you'll see two options one is open and one is move if i move it to the new window that's kind of like what i did previously it opens up in a window here and it is no longer in the window that it came from. If instead I selected open current pane, a new window, then it would still come up in a new window, but it's still also open in the previous window. The third way to use pop-out window is by clicking on the element, so an image or a link, and then right-clicking. And in the context menu, you can see open a new window. This is especially good for being able to zoom in on images that maybe were a little bit difficult to see the details of when restricted by the context of your notes. This also works for links. So if I click on this hyperlink, I can also see the open a new pane or open a new window. Pane is what Obsidian's always been able to do. It's opening it up vertically here or horizontally, but the new one is opening in a new window, which does the same thing. So in Obsidian, you might already know that you can drag to rearrange these panes, including the ones on the sidebar. So if you have this open here, you can rearrange these things to put it in one or the other, or have it appear in another kind of sidebar here, or a third one in the middle. There's a lot that you can do with just dragging to rearrange. Now, having the pop-out windows is the same thing. So I'm just going to resize this window a little bit so you can see my desktop there. If I try to grab this note and release it somewhere where there isn't an Obsidian window, well, then it creates one. So there's a continuity of that drag and drop experience as well. And by the way, now that you have this on a separate window, you can also maximize it. And since it's still Obsidian, you can still open up notes and rearrange it separately from any other windows that are up, which is really handy. Two notable plugins that use this functionality already are Excaladraw and Excalibrain. So this is an Excaladraw drawing that I've got embedded, and there's this edit and Excaladraw link that is automatically added when you're embedding an Excaladraw drawing. But now, instead of opening it up on the same window, 
I can right click on that and click open a new window. This means that I can go on typing out things in the rest of the note while seeing this awesome Excaladraw drawing on another window in full screen. It's always a bit awkward to be drawing something and creating diagrams in this tiny little bit of space. So Excaladraw in a pop-out window is now the only way that I use it. And Excalibrain is related to Excaladraw. It's made by the same developer after all. So if I open up Excalibrain, brain there's now an Excalibrain pop-out window option in the command pane. I can view Excalibrain and explore this graph and follow the links without taking up valuable real estate in my notes. You'll see that as I'm going to different nodes here, I'm in the old one of parts unknown one, my other window is automatically linking to that window as well. I'm really excited about this because I usually have two different monitors, my laptop and an external monitor. And this is the first time that I'm going to be able to have the same vault of Obsidian present in both and just spread out with all of the notes that I need for whatever I happen to be working on. Being able to move extensions like Fantasy Calendar or the Calendar plugin or day planning if you're using that to a separate window means that you can have all of your plugins in a single window and have maybe all of the task-based ones over there and then flip back to another window for actual work. I'm finding that it's really good for focus mode because having all those task-oriented plugins isn't great when I'm trying not to think about the rest of the day and I'm just trying to focus on what's at hand. There's also a good use case for the separation of different types of work so deep work versus administrative work or maybe personal versus work and you can have different windows for different uses. If you already use the Workspaces core plugin, this is even better because it works right out of the box with pop-out window. Let me show you how that works. If I open up, for example, my Chaos Engineering page, I have it here and I'll leave the calendar plugin open over there. Maybe I'll have performance testing up as well. I'll have another window that has the Excalibrain view of the same topics. And then let's say that I also want to open up the principles of chaos engineering, this note that I've got in another window and have observability there as well. So now I've got three different windows here, and now I'm going to save all of this to a workspace. So I'm hitting Command P, Command Pane again, and I'll click Manage Workspace Layouts, which you'll see I already have saved to a hotkey. I'm going to save this as Chaos and hit Save. Now I'm going to close everything down. So as you can see here, I only have one window now. No file is open. I'm going to go back to managing workspace layouts. I'll go to chaos and load it. And it's opened up all three windows. So I've got my chaos engineering and performance testing with the calendar. So it remembers the sidebar positions as well. Excalibrain here on chaos engineering and principles of chaos and observability. So this has really supercharged the Workspaces plugin as well. Now you can have as many combinations of this as you would like. I'm also finding this extremely useful for D&D because now I can have one window that has all of my character stats like abilities and passive perception and things like that. Then another window for the actual story or like story beats that I want to hit. Maybe another window for the town that they're going to and maybe NPCs that they might visit along the way. How do you get this awesome feature? Well, it's not a plugin, so as long as you're updated to the latest Obsidian version, then you should be good. Let me show you how to check that. Go into settings here and then about. And then if you see something like this where it says a new version is ready to be installed, then go ahead and relaunch the app. Make sure that when you go to about, it says version 0.15.6. However, there is a gotcha here because there are two different things in Obsidian that you should be keeping fairly updated. One is the version of the app, which is what we just did. And the other one is the version of the installer. 
I know it's it's a little finicky. It, it's hard to even know that this needs to be done. And for the longest time, I just didn't update it. But now is the right time to do it because older versions of the installer aren't going to be able to make use of this feature. So let's do that now. Okay, go to obsidian.md and go ahead and click get obsidian for Mac OS or whatever you've got there. Go through the process of downloading it and installing it. This is actually the installer, so you're not going to lose any information. Now close down Obsidian before you do this and hit replace. Then let's start it back up. All right, now if we go into settings and look in about, now the current version is 15.6 and the installer version is also version 0.15.6. That's it, that's all you have to do. It is free to use and is available to the public as of right now. I must admit that when I first heard about this feature, I was a bit meh about it. I thought, who needs more windows, right? Well, turns out I do. I need more windows because along with the ability to create new windows of the same vault comes the ability to compartmentalize different types of work or different aspects of your work or just to be able to focus on the things that you need to do and not be distracted by all of the other windows or all the other things that are on the periphery. The last time I was this excited about a new core feature was callouts. If you still haven't tried that out yet, check out this video where I go into the changes that went into that release. Until next time, thanks for watching. Spasibo.